this, you know, this is actually a serious question. How do you consider yourself when it comes to an athlete, right? Because mm -hmm. we recently had a big debate about uh, professional wrestling. Um, and he was saying that they weren't athletes. No, no, no. I said they are athletes. I said it's not a sport. He was being very, very selective about his definitions here. Ooh. So when it comes down to a race car driver, um, I know that it takes a lot more than people think. I've seen videos of people doing like neck training to try mm -hmm. to resist the G-forces. And I understand that being in a car, and I watched that Mythbusters episode about uh, NASCAR or the stock car racing. And like the, there's no, is there, do you Power have- Power steering? Is that what mm -hmm. you're talking about? Power steering? Yeah, power steering and then uh, like- hydraulic brakes like were ripped mm -hmm. out for weight considerations do you is yeah. that the same for your cars that you drive it's similar well in my car we do have power steering and there is a brake assist a little mm -hmm. bit a little bit but uh. in a brake zone i'm basically pushing like 90 pounds of pressure oh. into the brake pedal um and it can reach up to temperatures of like 130 degrees in the cockpit if it's like hot outside i mean wise so you do lose, like, for example, if I'm in the car for two hours, like I could lose two pounds of water weight. Um, so I am training. I'm training five times a week in the gym doing like cardiovascular endurance stuff. Mm. But I'm like curious, like what your definition of what qualifies as a sport? So, I mean, we talked about it on our very first episode of the podcast, but it's it's a uh, governing body with governing rules. Mm -hmm. um, usually for me, it's like skill or athleticism, clear competition, defined competition. So you have defined winning in terms of winning, and then it's repeatable so that it's, it can be something that you can have one game and then the next game is this so similar that the results are not varied so dynamically because they suddenly have different rules versus another, or somebody judges it distinctly different than another thing. Mm -hmm. And so those are the key parts for me in defining a sport that makes sense but with professional wrestling they're insanely athletic but it's scripted a lot of the stuff that they're doing is more theater based mm -hmm. um and so there's like you know the the punches aren't like full punches like in boxing they're doing stunts and stuff but they're purposely trying to land on their elbows and not f put their full body weight on the other person which is why i said it's not a sport um but i know about the amount that race car drivers have to go through especially i watched a bunch of formula stuff one stuff and the their neck muscles insane yeah. the amount of g's they go through and so do you do you do like neck strengthening exercise when you do your cardio stuff as well i do so i used to race in a class called gt4 and there wasn't as much g-forces but now moving into gt3 now i am having to do these kinds of neck exercises because we are pulling like maybe like two or three g's during a race depending on the track obviously mm -hmm. but yeah Getting that tree trunk neck. <laughs> Dang, I got it right here. It's a wrestling. Yeah, no. When I was uh, when I was growing up, I did wrestling, and um, one of my best strengths was doing neck bridges. Like uh, just liter neck bridge in wrestling is when they've got you. You're losing, so it's not a great position to be in. But if you use all your neck muscles, you can lift your whole body up with just your neck. Terrible idea because it could lead to horrendous injuries. And I still have kind of a, a, a tweak in my neck uh, from some of those days. But I could have been a race car driver. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but to wrap up, the question is like, so you would consider yourself fully an athlete? I would consider myself an athlete, yes. Do you find that you have to defend that online? Yes, for sure. Yeah. I mean, like, there's tons of people who are like, oh, you know, racing isn't a sport because they don't see, you know, the training that goes into it. All they see is like, oh, you're just sitting, driving a car around a track. They don't they don't understand, like, the amount of G-forces or the amount of, like, pressures where you're, like, pushing on the brake pedal, for example. Yeah. Reaction time. Even, like, time. the temperatures and, like, yeah. yeah the mental time. aspect alone because there's a lot of debate whether, like, chess is a sport or something like that um, because it fits a lot of your criteria correct um but at the same time people are like well if there's not athleticism behind it it's, it's not, it doesn't qualify and even me being like outside of the sporting world i know that uh those kinds of you know pressures that you have on yourself and the mental reaction speed and the kind of like elevated level of uh presence of mind you need to have when you're racing for that long and, and you, when you're this close uh to wiping out completely i like i'm scared to drive just on the highway i can't imagine what's the top speeds that you go at when you're driving um i'd say it's based on the track but i'd say my top speed 185 miles per hour around daytona for example is that the fastest you've ever gone in a race car yes okay but in a car no <laughs> what's the fastest you've ever gone over 200 <laughs> Yes. Well, uh, you're, sa there. you're saying it like it's so shady. Like I hit it 210. <laughs> when did you hit 210? I'm not talking about it. 
When did you hit? Wait, no. What in the <laughs> hell were you do? I was on 275. It was late at night and I was going downhill and uh, I was flooring it. Hit 210? Hit 210. On 275? Yep. How many years ago? Are you in the statute of limitations? They, I mean, they have to have witnessed that, I believe. I also don't live in Ohio anymore, so... I don't think that saves you. I, uh, it's all lies. It's yeah, not Professional real. driver, closed course. Uh, yeah. It was definitely a closed course. It was uh, nothing nothing there. Absolutely. In Mexico. Mm -hmm. In uh, yeah, yes. the 275 loop of Mexico. <laughs> definitely. So, Actually, it was in Germany. Uh, it was on the Autobahn. Oh, yeah. Uh, where there's no... In the sections where there's no speed limit. Uh-huh. Yeah. I've yeah. gone 600 miles an hour in a plane, but that's about the oh. fastest I've ever gone. <laughs> all right, all right. I was like, we're what all car are hurtling you around the sun at tens of thousands of miles an hour, and the sun is moving around the galactic rim at hundreds of thousands of miles an hour. So we're all creatures of speed. Mm -hmm. I mean, so if you time it right, if you're in the car when it's going the same direction in which the, the earth is spinning, and also at the exact point in which it's rotating, you're going significantly faster. Big brain. Yeah. <laughs> don't you don't have to give him anything. You're like you can literally shoot down all of his crazy ideas. Jeez.